Edge protocols. I'm going to introduce you to an Edge protocol, which I like to think of as a, a scavenger hunt, right? It's a collaborative way for students to work on a thing. Um, there's a lot of templates. There's a lot of different protocols. The one that is the most famous is the Iron Chef protocol. So the idea of this is that it's basically a jigsaw, right? But it's using Google Slides most of the time so that um, at its simplest, students cover the chapter of a book. This group or this person covers these two pages. Next group covers the next pages. Next person or next group covers the next pages. And then they, they present it back to their peers. And so the first part is going to be um, some sort of assignment that they would work on um, collaboratively. It could be at the same time or asynchronously. And then presenting is going to probably be in a Google Meet. So a couple examples, I think it's just easy to look at some examples. Um, you can see like the, the slide design does not have to be super high quality. So they started off actually with this. Um, it's called Iron Chef because there's always a secret ingredient. So in this case, looking at um, covering the life of a person, the secret ingredient on each slide, each slide has to have a quote. So person one talked about Eli Weasel, life before the Holocaust, and a quote, there's the secret ingredient, during the Holocaust, and a quote, after the Holocaust, and a quote, and then overall just kind of legacy, and actually the quote is missing there, and then collaboratively, I would imagine they decided to um, do the title slide together, and then a quote at the beginning, and then as always, citing their sources. So as they presented this, um, they would probably delete this at the end, although you could drag it to the end. Um, that's iron chefing something, right? Jigsaw. I do the I do the first part, you do the second part, you do the third part, you do the fourth part. A couple more quick templates. Um, the secret ingredient is actually looking at a prompt that someone needs to answer. And so each group and these slides are, are um, not beautiful to look at, but looking at, you know, kids voting, description, image, answering the question as I go backwards, hard to read. Um, so you're gonna get into a question they need to answer, image, description. We can see it's just read these three pages, right? Read these two pages. Here's a question, answer, image. Um, I love this one in particular, if I go back to the beginning, this is actually looking at Dyer Van Frank. I know these are pretty um, high school heavy topic wise, but Man, if I was teaching second grade, I would be all over these. The way um, this works is, you know, again, like it's it's not about a beautiful slide. It's looking at this as actually an interactive space, um, like way more effective than just a worksheet, but also a way to organize thoughts. So this should look really familiar, right? Definition, sentences, synonyms. Um, the the thing you get differently is by adding GIFs. It um, it allows students to express their understanding. A lot more. So as we go over vocabulary, there's the word, definition, sentence, synonym. Again, nothing new, right? But the way that it's laid out and the fact that each student has a different word and then gets to demonstrate their understanding of the word through memes and then that they present it explaining why they chose what they chose um, is super cool. There's like a way, way simpler version of this if we just strip it down to its very minimum. Iron Chef is like topic, whatever your thing is, right? Give me your definitions, cite your sources, give me two memes, explain why they're good, movie examples, why you chose those movies, literary examples, again, this skews more towards high school, but like how do those connect? Um, it becomes interactive because students are working on the same slides. They present it, which is really, really important. Um, and it's using Google Slides, right? So it's nothing new, it's nothing scary. Um, students know how to get Google Slides. Students know how to edit Google Slides. And if you wanted to do this with something even simpler, it could be just a Google Doc that anyone can edit and you just have different sections, you know, a box of like, you know, beginning, middle, end, and right? Like first graders could write a story using the Iron Chef template and the ingredient is that each part has to have like a juicy detail, right? So instead of saying, I stayed 
in my bedroom all day answering email. I could say, in the dark, desolate bedroom, I sat in the corner frantically answering emails throughout the day. Um, and the, the secret ingredient there is the, the juicy language, adding the details. That's the very first and second grade thing. If you're wondering why I picked the word juicy, that's, that's how they talk about that. Um, so that's Iron Chef. The URL, if you want to look at these on your own, it's Edu Protocols, right? And there's Iron Chef is one of the protocols. Um, that's the one I highly recommend starting with just because it's, it's such an easy way to organize collaborative student work. Um, ironchef, edgyprotocols.com, and happy chefing. Happy Iron Chefing.